Epilogue. Six months later, the West Manhattan University grounds were joyous to say the least. Now that the snow had finally melted, there were a lot more students out enjoying the scenery. The final exams of the previous semester had finally finished, and many were out celebrating their freedom. From the first years to the postgrads, all were grateful for the temporary ceasefire in their academic lives. It was the beginning of a new year, and all the second years were confidently striding about, chuckling at maps, occasionally deciding to help out some first years with directions. All the second years, that is, except for two. The first was a gray mare with dark, bedraggled mane. She had bags under her eyes, but her smile made it clear she was anything but harrowed. Around her neck was a pink bow tie, and around her hoof was a VIP band with bright blue and white stripes. To any casual observer, she would appear to be an average post-concert student, albeit one with more elegance in each step than most have in their entire bodies. That's not to say she was stuck up. On the contrary, she was warm and friendly to those who casually greeted her. She joked with a few of the students, and even bumped her hoof against any who wore the same concert band. A year ago, most would be too scared to even approach her. Her name was Octavia, and she was a cellist studying advanced musical theory, classical, business management, and, strangely enough, extended psychology. The second was a white unicorn with a flat, carefully brushed neon blue mane. On her head sat a pair of dark purple shades, leaving her striking scarlet eyes completely visible. She fidgeted as she walked, and every few seconds her hoof shot up to ruffle her hair, but was resisted by self-control. Despite this, she still managed to give an air of renown around her. Some students whispered to each other as they saw her, while others straight up started cheering. That's not to say she was undeserving. On the contrary, she was responsible for most of the post-exam parties, and had won the hearts of the students through hard work and experimental music. She was happy to give high ones to any who came to thank her for distracting them from the horrors of university. Even the teachers liked her for helping their students relieve stress before coming to class in the last few months. A year ago, most considered her presence at university a fluke. Her name was Vinyl Scratch, and she was a DJ, studying secondary advanced musical theory, modern, advanced visual arts, and, strangely enough, extended psychology. The two embraced each other on the grassy court in the center of the university. When they parted, Octavia couldn't help but laugh at her lover's mane. Vinyl flushed. I thought you'd like it. I mean, this is your triumphant return, after all. It's a big moment. <laughs> Vinyl, you should know by now I rather like the madness that is your hair, Octavia chided gently, bopping Vinyl on the nose. Now you tell me, Vinyl grumbled taking a moment to violently mess it up until it returned to its natural style. So did you like the party last night? It was amazing! I feel like I just left! Eyeing Octavia's less than pristine mane, Vinyl smirked. You look like it too. Oh shush, I only slept a few hours, and I was too excited to sit still and brush it like usual. And by the way, Octavia raised an eyebrow deviously. Did you work another of my compositions into that final song? Vinyl whistled innocently. I knew it! How do you keep doing that? The crowd loved it! Octavia danced on the tip of her hooves for a moment, caught up in her own excitement. I think it's because I'm working with something you've created. Like, I'm not just listening to the song, I'm listening to you and everything you're trying to say through the song. And I can translate it in my own way. Vinyl reddened considerably as she continued. You've got to stop me before I try talking romantically. I sound like a total dweeb. Octavia kissed her quickly. A very sweet dweeb. They walked together across the soft grass. It's been a crazy year, huh? Said Vinyl. Indeed. I can't believe how different things are now. Octavia shook her head, smiling at the memories. The last few months had seen her and her friends grow closer than ever, and she felt more love now than any time in the past 19 years. They're gonna be even more different soon. We're gonna be living together again. I'm getting some insane gig requests. Yes, requests. They actually request me. How cool is that? And Lyra and Bonbon bon are talking about setting up other stores in other cities. Oh, I know! Imagine stores in Canterlot, Trottingham, or Ponyville! I don't think I'll be short of work anytime soon. Yeah, Vinyl said slowly. Octavia stopped walking and frowned at her. What's wrong? 
nothing. Uh, not yet. I just... I think working with Bonbon and Lyra is great while we study, and I love them, don't get me wrong. But one day, I was kind of hoping we could do our own thing, you know? You know, begin our euphorious revolution we used to talk about. We will, Octavia said, touching Vinyl's cheek. <laughs> but let's just focus on surviving university first, okay? Deal. After a moment, Vernal lowered her voice. Anything new from, uh, you know who? Just a text from this morning. Here. Mother. I hear you have re-enrolled. Should you reconsider your decisions in life, you have my number. Well, that's gonna mean she feels something for you, right? Vinyl said, but Octavia didn't look hopeful. She probably just sees me as an asset that has been misplaced. Or maybe she's just too proud to admit she misses you. Octavia gave a thankful smile. It's okay, Vinyl. I'm not sad about it. She did give me every opportunity I could have hoped for. Even though it wasn't her intention, she is the reason we met. But that doesn't change how I feel about her. Maybe in a few years, if she manages to finally move on from her past, we might be able to start again. Until then, however... All right, all right. It just bothers me that you're not that close with your parents, whereas mine were pretty cool up until they kicked me out. Yes, how about your parents? Octavia's eyes twinkled. What? Vinyl replied warily. I think it's time I met them, don't you? The End <clears throat> All righty, class. Welcome to your first lecture here at Manhattan University. I'm sure we're all going to get along quite famously, so who's ready to learn? Lecture time, bit of hurry, peace of mind, drinking with berry unicorns, peg aside, prom performing, shirt and tie, apple cider at the bar, drink it down, you've gone too far, music class follows out the water, musical disaster, lecture here, lecture there, lots of students everywhere go into town, hit the club, partying is what you love, alarm goes off, in the morning, phone is ringing, who is calling, best friend, pick a phone, where are you, I don't know, this is the time for us to seize our future, but certain things get in our way. Gosh, I know it's pen is handy, everything is fine and dandy Psych class, stupid task, I can't believe that they're not friends Classical dubstep, a mix designed to perplex Lyra, Bon Bon, what could possibly go wrong? Stay up late, go out drinking treble Glamp has got me thinking, drunken call 3am, final, this is mayhem Octavia, you so fine, you so fine You blow my mind, this craziness has got to end Final, you're my best friend This is the time for us to seize our future But certain things get in our way Read for you by Astro Brony.